1980 or 79 movie that, that is it listed as a horror yeah horror sci-fi i don't know i feel like i might be bored really scott's really good i mean i don't know who these i know who john hurt is sigourney weaver obviously i don't know i feel like i might be bored i <laughs> hope people don't get mad if i get bored but hello everybody welcome back to the channel once again my name is brandon i'm an acting coach or was an acting coach was an actor studied acting in college studied theater directing writing set design some costuming i hated the costuming classes i love costumes i hated the costuming class i suck at sewing <laughs> man i'm just rambling forever do you guys care about any of this you're here to watch a movie i'm here to watch a movie let's watch the movie if you're watching this on youtube and you enjoy the content you can watch uh, all the other videos i have posted here on youtube i also have a ton of videos on patreon that sometimes make it to youtube months later sometimes don't make it to youtube at all i'm gonna have some exclusive series and things coming to patreon only you might see the pilot episode on youtube but the entire series will likely continue on on patreon so if you're interested in supporting the channel and you want to see some of that content check out the link in the description below come join me on patreon you can watch pretty much anything i watch over there you just have to have access to your own copy of whatever the media is you pull it up in an adjacent window to mine press play at the same time i give you a three two one countdown i would really enjoy having you over there so consider signing up all that being said today we're watching alien like the original alien 1979 i didn't know alien and aliens were two different movies. And I've been doing horror movies on the channel. You guys seem to enjoy watching me behave like a big idiot because I suck at watching horror movies. I'm not good at it at all. Also, a jump the line in the description down below. You can email me with a series pilot or a film. I'll let you know if I've seen it before or not. All that out of the way. Thank you so much for being here. I'm excited to jump into this one. Kind of. Gotta be honest, it's from 1979. That's before I was born. I, I'm a little nervous about it. I'm going into this sort of with the expectation of going through long stretches of boredom with a couple of like really good action scenes, probably some like uh, gore stuff or, or you know some jump scares but I feel like the majority of it's probably gonna be pretty slow I might get a little bored now I love film so if there's some good cinematography good score work good acting going on I can stay in it pretty easy so we'll see how it goes I just don't know about the horror genre in the 70s late the late 70s early 80s wasn't the best in the 80s so I mean there are some classics that really set the tone for some things, but I, I've never been able to really get into them individually. I can appreciate them for what they did for cinema in general, but you still, there are tons of holes. I really, really love practical effects, and I think we're going to get some of that here, so that's exciting for me, but I, I just feel like the pacing's probably going to be a little slow. I know that there are aliens, or there's an alien, I guess, <laughs> I guess, and there's Sigourney Weaver. And she's a badass. Pretty much also know that the character that she plays in this movie was actually written for a man. And then she stepped in and played it and played it well. And uh, people have told me that she played it in a way that it's not like a woman trying to play a man's part. It's a woman being a woman and just being the character, being a whole character. And that's uh, was probably, considering the time it was made, probably pretty rare back then. So that's exciting to see. I'm excited about that. We're looking at Alien from 1979. Ridley Scott, Sigourney Weaver. Let's go. Turn my light down so good so I can see the screen's too dark. Guys, just so you know, uh, those of you who are watching on YouTube, uh, my light that's on this side went out right as I was recording the intro. So it's going to be really dark here. There's nothing I can do about it right now. So <laughs> really dramatic lighting for the film. Maybe it'll fit. Go good with the, the theme. The tone. This is, I was, I was right about pacing. This is really a really long title sequence. I don't know what's happening. Interesting shots though, really playing with reflection. The helmet with no one inside it is an interesting sort of image. Where'd everybody go, right? Where is everyone? Are we gonna meet our crew? That would be our captain, my guess. <laughs> so we didn't get to meet any of them, see any of them wake up but him. Still guessing the captain. Dad, your mother wants to talk to you. Uh, yeah, son, your lights for my eyes only. Okay, so that's the captain. I guess. It's the only thing good on this ship. Oh, that's one. That's one wrong prediction so far. I wonder how many I can rack up. Probably a bunch. I'm really good at, at wrong predictions. Ready for inquiry. What's the story, Mother? That's an odd interface. This is commercial towing vehicle Nostromo out of the Solomons. Registration number 18092460. We're alone. That's the sense I'm getting from this shot. Empty space. The radio reaching out and feels very distant. Same old shit, man. But I think I know why they don't come down here. 
Yeah. It's because of you. You don't have no personality. <laughs> Worker bees. So am I getting that they didn't know where they were going when they went to sleep or that they're not where they think they were supposed to be when they woke up? One of the two. Penalty of total forfeiture of shares. You got that? <laughs> yeah. Sounds like they need a union. Is that just in my headphones, or are they saying different numbers? Disengage. Umbilicus clear. Very sort of brutal, the architecture of their ship, sort of a very brutalist yeah. look. A lot of sharp angles, a lot of utility, not a whole lot of aesthetics. Prime the port. I know you guys are probably getting irritated with it, but like, yo, they're really taking their time. Still dropping. There we are, we've got it. Take her down. There's something weird about his character. A few moments later. You've got five three, still out. No problem. Just down eleven percent. Great status. Okay. Wow. Wow. We're still landing the ship. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Okay. I mean, in case you didn't know it, we're landing the ship. Still. Still. Eventually. Uh. Ouch. Usually when you get that kind of slow moving content, it's used to build suspense or create intrigue. And there was none of that happening. So I don't really know what the point was of it moving so slowly. Um, I'm sure that Ridley Scott's talked about it. I'm sure there are interviews out there about it. You guys probably know. I'll have to look into that later. In my opinion, think, you know, in filmmaking, choices should have an intention. They, there should be a reason. And I don't, I don't know why we're moving so slow yet. I haven't figured it out yet. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll figure it out, and it'll make perfect sense later. Any response yet? No, absolutely nothing. Except the same transmission every 12 seconds. All the other channels are dead. That was an interesting shot. I feel like we should have known, I should have like had an idea of what was going on inside her head and I just don't. Well, Mother says the sun's coming up in 20 minutes. How far away from the source of transmission? Uh, northeast. Just under 2,000 meters. Walking distance? Well, <laughs> in that weather out there, probably not. Rock, lava base. Deep cold, well below the line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's freezing out there. I can tell by the look of it. to be in the first group to go out. Yeah, that figures. Wait, they're actually gonna go? They're gonna walk? 2,000 meters? You better break out the weapons. That's kind of nuts, man. I missed some of it. I, I I don't think I've like missed it, but I didn't understand some of it. Like, are they they're, they're trapped there for a while? I couldn't tell if there was another ship talking to them and they're like, we can't get to you right now, or if they were just talking to each other and just repeating things sometimes. This guy's weird, by the way. Okay, so they're, they're, they are. I guess, I mean, the suits, they should be fine, right? They'll be nice and warm, I'm assuming, in those suits. So that's fine. It's a long walk. It's dark, too. If they find what they're looking for out there, that mean we get full shares? Don't worry, Parker, yeah. You'll get whatever's coming. What was that? Yeah, did you hear that? Guaranteed by law to get a share. What? Why don't you just... Wow. I'm getting, I mean... I get it. If you have any trouble, I'll be on the bridge. All the, 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 the air being expelled and everything, it's probably making a ton of noise. They couldn't get clean sound, but that ADR was not good. I guess what I'm missing is a ton of character development. There's not a whole lot of character development happening. I'm not really getting to know too many of these characters very well, except for that one woman likes to complain. All right. Moving on to second what is I'm glad he's breathing like that because he should be exhausted. That's a long hike in the dark and unfriendly terrain. I feel like I've been one of those like really like those old like uh, go karts or, or something when you, you the engines you're hitting the gas but it's just getting going and it doesn't really have the power so you're like 
like, like just trying to get it to start moving and then you know it can take over. I, I feel like that's what I'm doing with these body movies. I'm not like trying to, okay, just, just trying to get the movie to like to just start moving. And I figure once it gets going, it's probably going to happen somewhere around the second act, um, probably in the middle of the second act, it'll start moving and then really pick up in the third act. That's kind of my guess. Come on down here, something different down here. Again, another handheld, strange angles, canted, I think. It's hard to tell. Okay, that's alien, right? Oh my God, it's huge. Okay, that's obviously been there for a long time. My question is, it have other traffic, uh, other uh, human ships gone through that area? Which means, in other words, is the signal fairly new or has it been going since that guy was there? Because he's obviously been dead for a long, long time. If the signal's new, who sent it? What do you got? Damn. See what you make of this. Okay, see, these slow shots I can get behind. A lot of suspense being built there, kind of keeping the alien in shadow, showing us little glimpses, moving in slow. Liked it a lot. Oh, I don't know, but it's like the goddamn tropics in here. Hot. Warm temperature feels like maybe breeding grounds. Like I said, I know we got little creatures, right? So I see the liquid down at the bottom, or maybe the smoke. I think it's liquid. I thought it was liquid. If it were liquid, and then warm temperatures equals maybe like a, a nursery. For me. Completely enclosed, and it's full of leathery objects like eggs or something. Okay, so maybe you shouldn't be there. Already, what the heck, man? Again, it's liquid. I was right, it was liquid. There, yeah, see, there's moving. There's a thing inside, and it's moving around. Maybe we just don't touch it. Wait a minute, there's movement. Seems to have a life. Okay, it, yeah, it does, it does. How about you leave? How about you leave now? Please don't, please don't do it. Oh my, oh, oh I'm so gross. I'm so gross, so gross. I don't want it, I don't want it on my face. Okay. All right, that's okay. He had a, he has a helmet. He's safe. He's safe inside the helmet. We're good. Good in the helmet, right? An organism. Open the hatch. Wait a minute. If we let it in, the ship could be infected. You know the quarantine procedure. Twenty four hours for decontamination. Yes, twenty four hours for decontamination. If we break quarantine, we could all die. Look, could you open the goddamn God. hatch? We have to get him inside. What is happening? Of course, he's gonna open the door. Damn it. I don't like him. I don't like him. There's something about him I really don't like. He's got this vibe. Is that what's attached to the guy? Oh, it's on his helmet. It's in his helmet. It's inside. The, the helmet didn't protect us. The helmet did not protect us. The helmet lied. The helmet's a liar. I'm going to get that off now. How are we going to get it off? Just I'm going to get some Okay, you need to contain him, though. Like, you need to contain him. You need some kind of container. You need some kind of force field or, or glass box or something. You need something around him. Because what if that thing just jumps off of him and decides to go running amok? Which, I mean, I guess it, that's probably what happens. That's why we have a movie. But still, it's stupid. Oh, freeze him. Yeah, freeze him. Freeze the whole of him. Put him in a box and put him on ice until you get back to a safe place where they can like have flamethrowers and have, have like a really good sealed environment. Because this, I don't feel safe here. I don't feel safe. If I was one of this crew, I would be throwing a fit. We don't know anything about it. Yeah, we're kill it. It's feeding him oxygen. If we remove it, could kill him. If you don't remove it, I'm pretty sure he's going to die. Like, I would wager. Chance, just cut it off. And, uh, yeah. You do take it. responsibility. Yes, yes, I'll do it. Cut it off. Get him out of it. Thank you. Good guy. Good man. Good man. Good man. Like that. I said man, didn't I? Damn it. Good boy. Oh. Holy crap. Oh, it's acid. It's just going to eat your... Ooh, it's going to eat everything. It's going to kill everybody. It's going straight through the whole ship. It's going to go all the way to outside. Molecular acid. You must be using it for blood. It's got a wonderful defense mechanism. Yeah. You don't dare kill it. Burn it. Just, I mean, okay, it's on the guy's face. We should have landed in this place in the first place. <laughs> Shouldn't have landed on this damn ball and all that. They're just saying the same thing over and over again. I mean, maybe it's realistic, but it feels like bad editing. Oh, this place gives me the creeps. Like we could have done without the gentleman on the left saying that we shouldn't have landed here line. The other guy would have said we shouldn't have landed on this ball. And then we cut to his last line. And that would have been better than having them both say it like that. I don't, that was weird. It's a couple of times that's happened. I feel like it's 
like they were short for time. Like maybe they, they filmed a bunch of stuff and they didn't have enough to make a movie. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Well, it's an interesting combination of elements making him a tough little son of a And you let him in. I knew that was coming. That's where we're going. Unfortunately, by uh, breaking quarantine, you risk everybody's life. Maybe I should have left him outside. Probably. I do take my responsibilities as seriously as you, you know. You do your job. And let me do mine. This is a good scene. Okay, so they were doing a lot of work with angles there. They're trying their best to make him seem powerful with the camera work, but his demeanor kind of makes him seem less powerful and strong and more dastardly. I don't trust him at all. I don't trust him at all. I think he's got bad intentions. But really was very calm, collected, composed, strong, forward, but also measured. I, I really like her character. Serious? Interesting. They established this very chill attitude in the beginning, but meet me in the right away. I'm surprised they still have it because of what's happened. There's a guy maybe dying in their infirmary and he's just listening to classical music, answering him like, yeah, are you serious? Like, really? Did something happen? Wow. Like he's got this like really lax attitude. Where is the thing? That's the guy. You're just going to walk in and leave the door open? Close the door. Close the door, please. Please close the door. Please close the Could you just close the door, though? Could, I, like, there's a big window over there on that wall. You could close the door and go look in through the window. <laughs> Guys, right? Yeah. That's what you... Yeah, listen to her. Please, somebody listen to her. <laughs> now he closes the door. <laughs> I, 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 there was, but, no, there, 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 okay. Is it dead? You okay? I didn't see it. Was it in the other head? What? It planted something in him, right? This is the thing that comes out of the chest, right? And that's why it died. It's like a bee. Once it does its thing, it, it dies. That's fine. That's creepy, though. That's, that's really good effects. I love that model. That's really beautiful. Beautiful work. I'd right, soon. Okay. There's not been it. Steak, but you're the silent sausage and decision ash. Okay, but put it in a put it in a container. I'm not trying to change your mind, Dallas. I just want you to listen. Will you listen to me? I wish somebody would listen to her, but just put it put it in a container. We're blind on B and C decks, the the reserve power system. Oh boring. no, that's a bunch of horseshit. We can take off without that. Oh, yeah, we can. You think that's a good idea? Look, I just want to get the hell out of here, all right? With that thing, with that creature on board, and not in any kind of secure container. And what about the guy on the table? Is he alive still? Is he okay? And what did it do to him? It didn't just like give up. It did something to him. Are you not checking that? This whole thing is driving me a little nuts. Engage artificial gravity. Engaged. I'm altering the vector now. This doesn't feel good. I feel like something bad's gonna happen. But God, it's okay. Now, now these longer shots, they're feeling less drawn out because the tension is already so high, right? We have the creature on board. I don't know what happened to the guy. And knowing that something's going to burst out of somebody's chest is not helping. So I'm assuming that it laid some kind of eggs in him. So that's freaking me out a little bit. I don't trust the science officer. He's brand new, too. I don't trust that. Also, he has authority over the captain. Doesn't make any sense. So there's a lot of tension happening. We fix something. We stay fixed, don't we, Brad Baby? <laughs> Great. The tension makes the long shots a little more bearable. You know, they're just filled with something. They have some substance. Has his condition changed? It's simpler if you just come and see him. We're on our way. I don't like that. I don't like the way he does that either. Why isn't the guy like quarantined on the ship? He's awake. Okay, that's good. That's a good sign, right? Maybe. Is he himself? Is he behaving like himself? If so, then yay. Maybe it's okay. Maybe the rest of the movie is this. It's a nice, like it's a cruise home. They listen to some music, maybe some relationship drama, and then we go home and everything's fine. No, 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 no bad things. No, no scary things. Everything's okay. I like that movie. We're on our way home. Yeah, back to the old freezerinos. But <laughs> <laughs> I have something to eat before we go back. I need something to eat. This is when the bad thing happens at dinner. Yeah. 
because they're going to delay the freezing thing. If they just freeze him, they'd be fine till they got home. And then there's other people. There's like people in weapons and actual cages and containers, right? But now they're just, they're in the ship and they're in space and they're alone. And that's the thing's going to bleh at the chest. That's what's going to happen. Maybe that's why he's so hungry. He's eating for two. I don't want to talk about what I'm eating this. <laughs> See, did you see that look on his face? Everybody else is shocked. Like, oh, is he okay? Is he okay? They're worried. He didn't look shocked or worried. No, oh, don't let him bite you. Don't let him bite you. He'll take a finger. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, uh, fractal. Very cool, very cool, very cool. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. My God, this guy. Kill the thing. Kill the, it's gonna kill you all. It's got teeth like razors. Kill the thing. It's too late, now it's gone. You just let it run away. Why, why, why did you, why? Okay, so there's this agency, this thing that they work for. He's new. I think they knew about this. I think this was a plan all along. They, they, they didn't get stopped by a distress signal. They programmed the thing to wake them up there. Now we're going to have a few more slow moments, a lot of searching, a lot of tense looking around corners, and then onto the third act with a big reveal. Oh, it's a funeral. Oh, crap. They just pooped him out. And I've designed this tracking device. You just set it to search for a moving object. So. He invented a motion detector in a spaceship. Now, anyone see this thing you catch in the net that Parker is holding on his lap? Parker, I don't want any heroics out of you, all right? Catch it, put it in the airlock. He doesn't strike me as the heroic type. That's the, like, throw himself on the grenade, jump in front of the bullet type. The circuits must have burned out. Maybe it likes it in the dark. What do we got here? Damn it, hold your light over here, would you? Yeah, that's it. I don't know if this is going to work. Right. Right. Crazy ADR. Hey. Five years. So, so it sensed it moving through the door. Like it sensed changes in air density through the door. Okay, cool tech, I guess. The net is hilarious to me. It ate through a man's chest, broke through. And they're gonna catch it with that net. Holy crap, it's a cat. Hey, look now, we've had to back it, man. Now we might pick it up on the track again. Yeah, that's true. Oh, oh, good, go and get it, man. Not by himself. All right, you get him, we'll go on. What, why, why, <laughs> why would you do that? And how are you gonna pick it up with the tracker if it's behind you and you're going the other way? Just leave it, just leave the cat alone for, why? Why would you separate? I guess we know who's going to die first, right? Jonesy? Good, Jonesy. Yeah, he's definitely going to die first. 100%. Jonesy. Yeah, here it comes. This close-up is intense. No peripheral. Quiet. Oh, it shed skin. You know what that means? It means that it grew. That means that it got bigger. Okay, this is a cool shot. I like this slow push in. This feels like it has purpose. It's gonna be like a false, right? It's a mislead, but still. What is that? What are we looking at? Okay, maybe, okay, all right. We're following from his POV, I guess. Dude, I would not stand under falling liquid at this moment. <laughs> what? Okay. No, don't drink it. Don't drink it. No. Even if you know what it is, that's, that cannot be sanitary. That cannot be clean water. That was just a really long shot. After the, the water on the face and everything, fine, whatever, I get that. And he just stood there in the water for a long time. <laughs> like, move on. Let's, next shot. There's a cat. Oh, what is that? Oh, okay, that's just a, it's just a dangling thing. It's a thing dangling down, making ding, ding, ding noises. Yeah, the cat doesn't, the cat knows. The cat's afraid. Uh-oh. Yeah, the cat's afraid. Oh my God, it's really big. When I said it grew, I didn't mean that much. I didn't mean that much. Dude, take a hint. 
Oh my god, that's terrifying. That's <laughs> terrifying. What the hell, man? And the cat just chilling. The cat's just watching. Like, okay, well, man, dumbass. Who gets to go into the vent? I do. You and Ash take the main airlock. Parker Lambert, you cover up that maintenance opening place. And he goes into the vent. Okay. Yes, I've seen the outside of the ship. Thank you. 20 minutes later. Uh, uh, does not compute. Yeah, might as well ask a magic eight ball. And he's closing the vents behind him. That's fun. Super fun. Yeah, but the vents are small, right? There's no space above, no space below. There's nothing, nowhere for it to hide. Right? So it's got to be, like, it's in front of him somewhere. Unless, is that, or is there a space above? Is there a space above? Because that would be awesome. Because he's not looking up there. Because why would you? Obviously. You don't even have your finger on the trigger. Like, can you not, like, could you not have, like, worn the light? And so you could, two hands, two hands all the time? See, these scenes are working really well for me claustrophobic, lots of tension. And it's interesting they're using set camera positions. All right, I reached the third junction and I'm going down. But that's big. There's big down there, right? And it's both ways, both sides, in front and behind. It's not safe for one person. The hell's not that box? Dallas? You're gonna have to hold your position for a minute. I... She lost it. You sure? But look around, are you sure that it's not there? I mean, it's gotta be around there somewhere. Okay, it just stopped moving. Is what it happened. Now you're just okay. Check that out, Lambert. You may be getting It's goo. It could be from anything. It could be from anything. The goo. It doesn't have to be from the scary alien thing. Sure, could be anything. It's gonna just move. It's gonna be really close. It's gonna be really close. No, Lambert. I want to get the hell out of here. Yeah, I would. I would too. Oh, it's coming right at you. It's coming right at you from from that from that space over there. Where's the flamethrower? Where is the, he? See, look at him. No emotion. I don't like him at all. I, he's weird, man. It's like a sociopath. <laughs> Holy crap! Ooh, ooh! It just wanted a hug. It just, it was just, it just, it just wanted a hug. That's all. It, that was not scary. It was just. It's like, ah, uh, I'm lonely and I want a hug. From can we be friends? You found this lane there. Dude, that scared the crap out of me. The weapons are fine. This one needs refueling. Will you get it, please? Alone. Go okay, good. No, you can't. This is really starting to annoy me. They're literally peeling themselves off one at a time from the group and feeding themselves to this thing. You're still collating? I find that hard to believe. More ADR. Nothing. Me and her, we're on the same page. I've got access to Mother now, and I'll get my own answers. Thank you. Me and her on... Oh, he didn't like that. He didn't like that at all. Oh. I don't like that her back's to the door. I, I don't think she's safe. Watch your back. Investigate life form, gather specimen. Priority one, ensure return of organism. <laughs> All other considerations secondary, crew expendable. Of course. That's suspicious. That's weird. Ah, uh, yep, there he is. How did you not hear him come in? There is an explanation for this, you know. Okay, nice. <laughs> nice. Yes, definitely. Love the character. Love the character. Ripley, I mean, Scorny's doing a wonderful job. That was amazing. You should have just gone under that one. <laughs> what was that noise? Did somebody laugh? <laughs> Holy crap. This went like zero to a hundred in zero seconds flat. Okay. All right. Handheld all around, all around. It's a little weird. <laughs> Some of these choices directorially are, are strange. He's very strong. He's very strong. He's not human, right? What 
what exactly is he gonna do with that? It's not the most efficient weapon. What? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's not gonna work, bro. Okay, that was kind of dumb. Guys, come on, that was dumb. Oh, he's like strong, strong, like very strong. What exactly does he think he's gonna do? Why, why? That's like the most inefficient way to kill her possible. What, what is it? What is it? That's so gross. Ew. It's a robot. A robot. That's like the grossest robot I've ever seen. Oh, it's still a lot, uh, or, or like operational. All I can think of is they must have wanted the alien for the weapons division. He's been protecting it right along. And the robot would mean no attachment to the crew, following orders without question. I don't know what. Because he may know how to kill it. We're going to have like a talking robot head, right? Without the body. I mean, I dig the practical. Oh, there it is. That was the cut. Did you see the cut? Beautiful. <laughs> Ash! Ew. Oh, okay. What was your special order? Bring back life form. Priority one. All other priorities rescinded. Crew expendable. What about our lives, you son of a b I repeat, all other priorities are rescinded. How do we kill it, Ash? Well, it's not even his fault. He's just following his directives, his programming. You have my sympathies. We're gonna blow up the ship. Oh, that face looked so different. <laughs> Blow up the ship. Oh no, she gotta do something stupid. Okay, they had to make it worse. You two go down, get all the coolant you can carry. They're gonna split up. How much you wanna bet that those two are gonna split up too, right? One of them's gonna go off on their own. No, it's just a cat. It's just a cat. Like, I'm sorry, but it's just a cat. What? Is Ripley going to go after the cat? That might be the first decision that she's made that I'm like, uh, not, you know, most, she's been on point till now. Like, I love cats, but no, it's, no. Okay, check the bottles. Wait, get to the shuttle. Are you, are they in the shuttle? Is this, is this the shuttle? Charles. Ripley. Hey, 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 Ripley. Hey, how about we go back to the shuttle? How you doing? Fine. How about we go back to the shuttle now, though? How about now is a good time to do that, huh? What do you say? Jones. Why is everything moving in this compartment all the time? Like earlier, when they were asleep in their pods, everything was moving in here. Jones. I mean, there's not a lot of space in here. <laughs> I was just going to say that thing's really big. Okay, you have the cat. Now run, please. Run, please. Run. Don't stop. All the way back. Oh, okay. they have a cage for the cat. They have a cage for the cat. No cage for the tentacly gross alien thing, but a cage for the cat. That's really annoying. That that annoys the crap out of me. Does she see it? Yeah, she's gonna do. I'm, I get it. She's gonna panic. Oh my god, is it bipedal? Just shoot it. Like one good burst to get it to run away. Why, why would you do that? Why would you just run at it, though? Like, why Why would you? That's not the thing to do there, to just run at it. It's much bigger than you. It's very elegant in its movement, isn't it? <laughs> you would almost think it was on wheels or something. Those aren't good noises. Those are, those are bad noises for, you know, people to make. Don't call for them. Don't call out. No, you, no, no, you, you're alone. You know, you're alone. It's too late. They're, they're gone. Those are noises. The people don't make those noises unless something really bad is happening. So I'm guessing that they're not, you know, alive anymore. I don't Oh, oh, now there's blood. There's a lot of blood and bodies left. What happened? Why did it change? Did you close the door though? Like you would think that that's obvious, but because of, I just don't know. You know, they, they, they seem to like to leave doors open until, you know, the last minute. That seems needlessly complicated. You just, you just need like one really big button, right? With a lock on it and you unlock it and you hit the button. 
That seems like it, it would make more sense. I love, oh God, I love what she's doing with her character. Look at her. She's a real person, right? She's like a real person. She's not superhuman. She's a real person. So how smart is the alien creature though? Like, can it realize that the shuttle is the only safe place to be now? Can it recognize that? I don't know how smart it is. They keep saying that it's perfect. Perfect usually doesn't mean dumb. That cat's just chill. That cat's just chilling out. Again, the angles on this hallway, low down and they're, they're cutting the corners. It's probably practical concerns like moving the dolly or whatever, but creates for really cool obstructions on the, of the point of view. Three minutes. There it is. Look, it's there. It's, oh, does it see you? It doesn't see you. You're breathing really loud though. It's coming. Oh, but it's the, now I feel bad for the cat. <laughs> like before I was like, screw the cat. But now I like, when it had a fighting chance, now it's stuck in a cage. See, third act, tons of action. I knew it was gonna happen. I'm totally in this, I'm totally in this now. It just took a long time to get here is all. Look at her acting, look at this. She's doing an incredible job. Real stakes. She didn't make it. I thought she was gonna make it. Turn the cooling unit back on! Mother! I Wow! I thought she was gonna make it. I thought she was gonna turn the auto the self-destruct off and have to love like a, a showdown with the, the alien. Dirty fingernails. Really dirty fingernails. Not important. She doesn't, she's not, it's not, that's not important, right? She doesn't care about that. Right now I'm just trying to keep myself calm. <laughs> I can focus on little things that don't seem important. The POV shots are really cool. They're really cool. I don't like them, but they're really cool. So much stuff. Uh, look, I'm seeing all the elements that I was annoyed by earlier being brought back into play. You know, the, 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 everything. The angles, the crap coming out of the walls made it horrible for sound. It makes it terrifying now. The lights, though. Like, I wonder how many people had seizures in the theater. Here it comes. Here it comes. Got the close up. Oh, the cat. It's alive. It can't break through boxes. Let's just get in a box. Just find a box and get in it and wait until you get home. Like go to your sleeping pod. It's a box. Get in the box. And then it can't get you until you get home. And then you're safe. Couldn't they have just like locked themselves in their sleeping pods and then decompressed the whole ship, taking all the oxygen out of it? And surely it can't survive without oxygen forever, right? You just get in your sleeping pod, take all the oxygen, all the oxygen out of the ship and then wait for it. Just wait. You're going to be like your, your months and months and months away from your stop. It'll die eventually. The ship will automatically destruct in T minus You know, one. mother, me and you, we need to talk. You've, 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 you, like, you just, we need to talk. You're supposed to, you know, you pissed me off a little bit. You've not been cooperative. Okay. Bad AI. It's kind of scary. <laughs> In today's day. Look, hey, it's, it's from Star Wars. The ship. It's one of, it's the, the, the Millennium Falcon. 29, 28. Okay. Is it on the ship? It's got to be on the ship. Six, five. Wow. She must be moving so fast. One. Ooh, nice. Okay, so the alien's on the shuttle, then, obviously. Two explosions. Just eating up more time, just more time. Three explosions, three. We blew up three ships. I got you. I don't think you did, Ridley. Like, this acting job is so good. Like, that's incredible. She's doing so much with so little. It's so good. But that can't be it, right? There has to be more. Yes, the cat doesn't even look almost afraid. Like, it's completely unfazed. But she'll be safe. Even if it's in the ship, all she has to do is get in the box. And the thing can't get in boxes, obviously, or it would have eaten the cat. Just get in the box. All right, it's nice to see you too. You know, cats are buttholes. Cat people, dog people, let me know. Cats or dogs? Let me know in the comments. 
Wow, really just lingering, just lingering, lingering on these shots. Works a little better now because it's it's sort of a decompression from the stress, even though I know we're about to get like, uh, like we're about to ramp back up. <laughs> I'm sorry, what are those panties? Is that what panties used to be back in the 70s? They just don't even cover the whole butt. It's just, it's just hanging out. Okay, I get it. But from the top, that's weird. I just, I don't think I've ever seen that before. <laughs> that's ah! Holy crap. Ooh, oh, 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 what is that? Is that the big thing? It's not big, it's too little. No, it's it. That's it. It's it. It's hiding. It was hiding the whole time. It was like, ah, it's smart. It knew. It knew the, the ship was going to blow up and the shuttle was the only safe place. It's asleep. Dude was just chilling, napping on the shuttle while the ship blew up. I guess it ate a lot, right? It ate those, those, a lot of the people. And so it was, it was full. It's like that post Thanksgiving dinner nap. Okay. Put on a space chute and decompress the shuttle. Is it yawning? That's terrifying. I think it's yawning. That's so, that's so weird. I mean, a cool detail. <laughs> that was really cool. I think it yawned, right? It even felt like a yawn, like it had the right timing and everything. That was great. Can you can you decompress the shuttle? Otherwise, I don't know why you put on the suit. Much more nimble in your underwear, for sure. Are you going to attack it? Really? Because I don't know if that's a good idea. I think you should just go to where the controls are and just suck all the air out of the ship. Just do that. Um. Lucky, 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 lucky. Oh, I thought, I thought she was singing it a lullaby. <laughs> it doesn't like that at all. It doesn't like it. Dude, her acting in this movie is insane. It's off the friggin' hook, bro. Like you can't see anything. There's no way you can see that. Yeah, yes, that's that's what that's it. That's the whole thing. Just decompress the ship. That's good. Good job. Oh, shit. Oh, she's dragging it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We don't want it to be because uh, I have a feeling it's not dead. Nope, it's not dead. Okay, it's getting. You better turn the engines on. Blast them. Blast them. Fire. Lots of fire. Big fire. Right? That'll kill it for sure. That'll kill it. It can't survive that. Surely it can't, right? Okay, it's gone. Into space, into space with you. Bye-bye. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley, last survivor of the Nostromo, signing off. That's intense. Wow. Oh, she's, oh, she's so beautiful, isn't she? Look at her, sleeping beauty indeed. It's still not over. That's good. Surely she gets picked up. Everything's okay, right? I mean, certainly, certainly. Um, what do I say? I was right. A lot of, a lot of slow burns, right? Getting us through to the middle of the second act. Got some big action. A little more slow burns. Hiding around corners. Third act. Big boom. Lots of action. Things happening. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Really fun toward the end. The third act was great. The third act saved the entire film. Ridley's, and uh, Ridley's acting. Sigourney's acting was off the charts. I really love what she did with her character. I li I think I completely get what people told me about her before. She was a complete human person. She had emotions. She had little moments when she broke down and they really had to let her emotions out, let her, her fears and her, her sorrow and everything kind of bubble to the surface and, and boil over. But still, she would take those moments and then she would move on and do what she needed to do, get things done that she needed to get done, be who she needed to be to survive, to make it through to the end. Beautiful, beautiful character work. And Sigourney's acting, I'm telling you, the subtlety going on was more than a sci-fi horror deserved. This was such, such a good acting job. I was blown away by that. That that and the third act saved the whole film for me. I will say you could shave 25 minutes of exterior shots of, the, of that spaceship off of this movie and it wouldn't change a thing. I know there's some of you who are going to be like, oh, you're going to just roast me for that. But it's just, I, that's just how I feel about it. That was beautiful though. I think, because again, the third act really saved it. Sigourney's acting was amazing. Amazing. Some of the other actors were, were good. Some of them were okay. The editing was really questionable. The editing was very questionable for me. Uh, the ADR was awful, but you know, 
1979. What are you going to do? I think it was great. I think it was great. I understand why it's a classic. I understand the, the grounds, that, the different ground that it broke for its time. Probably some really expensive X FX work for that ship for those big shots. And so they really wanted to milk them. I get that kind of. People were probably really impressed with it at the time. So it wasn't quite as laboring to sit through those long shots because they were like, wow, look at that. It's just not the same anymore for someone who's never seen it before. Right. So that's the thing. But I, I don't have anything else to say. Sigourney, third act. Boom. Great film. Instant classic. It was beautiful. So the, the next one I think is called Aliens, plural. I don't know what that story could possibly be, but I've also been told that there are several sequels. And not only are there several sequels, but uh, it's it's also a part of the Predator universe, which has multiple sequels, including one called Predator vs. Alien. So that's interesting. I don't know if I'm going to watch them all. Uh, it'll depend kind of on how well this one does. If you guys really enjoy it, really want to see the next one or, or the rest of them, then let me know. Anything else you want me to watch, let me know down in the comments. Jump the line is down there. Check out the PayPal links. Join the Patreon. Join the Discord. Love to have you in those places. Support the channel. Thank you for those of you who have been supporting the channel. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to get out of here, man. That was that was some really dumb decisions made in that movie, right? Okay. Thank you so much for being here once again. Please remember, as always, to be kind to each other. And most importantly, be kind to yourself.